Okay, let's make a great pyramid. And to do that, begin with a construction line. And now we're going to draw a first circle. Now this is circle is going to define the proportions of later to come, but what that I mean. So put your point on the edge of that circle. Set your compass to the diameter of the circle and then we'll draw a vesica which is two circles with the centre of one on the perimeter of the other, simple enough. Now we need a construction line. Now we already had our zero point for the first set. We're going to create a construction line that will run through there, giving it some 90 degree angles amongst the other things. And now compass at the same length. Okay, so now we have our zero point and we're going to define this as one. And now we find the square root of five. So put our point on one, open it up and that will give us our square root of five. And now we go back to 2. Which is the diameter of the original circle. On the end here we draw a half circle. And now we've bisected this line. And more magically than that we have a fire ratio. We actually already have a fire ratio, but now we have two. And by that I mean, if this is one plus square root of five, that makes it two pi. Where this would be two, and this would be pi. So, two would be in ratio to there at pi, or we have one in ratio at pi. Now, with that we set our uh, compass, well, I'm gonna draw a, lar a larger one. So we want a phi ratio, and by that I mean, so we have zero, we have two, and we have one plus the square root of five, which is equal to pi over two. So we have a phi ratio and just to illustrate that if this length is 1 then this length is phi. Now with that in hand we're going to set our compass to 2 pi or 1 plus the square root of 5. And so that's our zero point. Now we go to two. We mark off there. Now just to check, if we go to two over here, we're going to see that that marks off. And so now we have our uh, section of the Great Pyramid. So a two-dimensional diagram of the Great Pyramid emerges from there and all the beautiful numbers that come, even the angles of this pyramid uh, at, um, in trigonometry will come to the beautiful number. So we have a profile of the pyramid. But now we need to convert that into uh, a shape that's because we're going to build a three-dimensional pyramid. And we're still on the ratio, so at the bottom here, well, actually we'll do it now, which way will I do it? The, I'll, I'll do it the simplest way to begin with, so what we need to do is put our compass there, and now what we have is a pyramid. The, in two dimensions it's not the Great Pyramid, but when we fold these pieces together, 
this new triangle I'm drawing will fold together to create the Great Pyramid. Okay, so now we have our proportions there in the green triangle. Okay, so now we have our proportions set and we need to make, well technically we need to make four faces of a pyramid but we're going to make five so we can fold it in and just to make the construction a little bit better. So you can see what I'm doing here, I'm now setting my compass to the edge length of that triangle or the hypotenuse of the right angle and we draw a circle around there. Now what we need to do now is find the base. Refine the base. Okay, and so we mark once, twice, and one over here. And so if we join these dots together, uh, it's best to use a, I'm going to use a ballpoint because I'm going to push hard. But so now these one, two, and three. Now actually, while I'm here, I'm going to draw a fifth one. Uh, that's necessary for the not necessary. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's going to be helpful. And so now from our center, the tip of it, and I'm pushing hard to help because I'm going to be folding these. Now, we're going to draw the base. Okay, so we still have our compass set at that distance. And now we're going to create a square. So, if it's in shot, Okay, we can do the same here. Now what we need to do is create a 45 degree angle, which is not a problem. But now we could do a vesica, I'm just going to cheat a little bit now. creating a base for the pyramid. Okay, now, I'm going to do a go crosswise first because we want to create some little tabs just to help the folding in. So we need to find the centre of that square. And we can finish off the square. Now we've added the centre of a square, we want to make some tabs just to help it fold in, so we put our circle on the centre. And so we're just going to draw it. Three quarter circle. And I'll highlight these just to... These are going to be tabs that we're just going to fold in. 
just to help stick it all together. Now, quick review, so we have one green triangle, we have our second green triangle, a third, these lines are important to draw just to help with the folding especially so you draw a little bit harder. is our fifth triangle now that's not super essential but it is uh, helpful to when we fold it all together so okay so now we have everything in shot and let's do some cutting Uh, circles aren't so important but you want to try and get okay so we're going to follow this one as well now the rest we should actually I'm going to follow that circle all the way around just to It doesn't have to be super accurate and except at the points where it touches. and just to finish it off okay, so now we can start folding if you use your pen to push on the paper heavier it'll help you out a lot to begin with and so there we have the base of our pyramid now one more cut And so we begin folding. These tabs will just help to if places to stick it together. And now we'll do it uh, the opposite way because we want to hide the construction lines on the inside. tabs folded in. Now we start folding the triangles. And again if you the heavier push with the pen, ballpoint, the easier it is to fold them. Okay, and now we're going to fold them inward.
of our pyramid. Now with a bit of glue and these a bit less fiddling but a bit of glue. We have our pyramid. those tabs that I included that's to help you if you want to you know spend more time at it and glue it bit by bit but you've got time for that. And there we have it, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Compass and straight edge, it's a fire, a pure fire based pyramid, which would make it the southeast section of the Great Pyramid itself. And there you have it. If how is it fire base? So if the half base equals one then the pinnacle down there so that's one then this would be phi now if we to draw it in sections so that would then change it so now that's three dimensional now if we were to do it in two dimensions well we would have that same ratio going on it's just a matter of that Anyway, hope you enjoyed. It's the pyramid.